Welcome back, friends. Hey, today we're going to look at a new floor plan from the entry level line of Grand Design, the Transcend. This is the 251BH. It's got a great little floor plan. Let's check it out. Okay, friends, let's take a look at the exterior of the Transcend. So this is a stick and tin. This is their stick and tin line. And uh, yeah, the, they a couple of years ago, they came out with Transcend and it really takes the stick and tin to the next level. Uh, we've talked before about being able to throw footballs at this stuff. It's not going anywhere. Let me get you on the, the less sunny side over here. Let me get some better lighting here. There you go, that's better colors there. And the exterior, or the rear here. Good looking unit. Rack and pinion slides, which I like. Now these are gonna be a little heavier than the Grand Design Imagines. And that's not always a bad thing. But again, this is their entry level. You've got, uh, these do still have the West Lakes here. And it's just the basic black wheels and tires but i think i, I like the I, for the stick and tin market this is definitely one of my favorites and now obviously we're grand design ambassadors but that's because we like grand design products now something interesting and really great solar comes standard here on the transcend so there's your solar controller and you're going to have a uh, solar panel 165 watt solar panel up top Here's your convenience station and a pass-through storage. Now you'll notice the pass-through is a little bit lower than a lot of Transcend models, and you'll see why when we go inside. Um, that said, speaking of storage, you're also going to gain, this is actually a rear bedroom model. You'll see that in just a second. You're going to actually gain this storage right here. So that's probably at least, at least three feet deep and a foot and a half or so high. And yeah, so... You get some nice storage back here, but you do lose a little bit up in front because of the floor plan. Again, you'll see why in just a minute. Electric ton jack, of course, 20-pound uh, propane bottles. But yeah, let's go inside. All right, let's start our interior tour. I'm gonna show you, uh, this is a unique floor plan. I really like it, but aluminum steps, and you'd be surprised how those come in handy in dark nights. You can't see those black steel steps very well. So let's come on in, I'm gonna close the door behind me. And you see immediately to your right, nice little cubby. I love how they didn't block that out. Be surprised how much you could put up there. Hanging storage here. That's actually very tall, hanging storage. A little cubby down below. A couple steps for the kiddos to get up to this contraption, which I think is really cool. Uh, it takes up a lot of space, but man, you can sleep a lot of kids here. Uh, let's look at this top bunk first. This pops down here, and this is, this has got to be close to queen size. This is a huge bunk up here, and um, yeah, you could fit two, two adults easily could sleep up there, and then three kiddos would have no problems. Pop that up. Uh, obviously, you see, now we have a couch, but... If you come back here, give this a little pull all the way up, and it flops down. Now that is the size, almost, of a king size bed. That's huge. If, if you've got, you know, elementary age kids, you could fit maybe four. I would say three for sure, but possibly four kids there. So there's a lot of sleeping area, and again, it's up front. It's at the front of the rig. Over here, you have this nice three-seat reclining sofa. Uh, I would prefer this over a dinette, actually. Uh, we like to try to eat outside, but you can also get a dinette here, so keep that in mind. 12-volt fridge over here from Furion. Let me back you up a little bit. Your sofa looks directly over to your TV. And speaking of, let's directly across from your sofa, let's look at the kitchen here. Tons of storage. Okay, these are, these pull all the way out. This is nice. You know, I like how they didn't cut this in here. They left this extra area here. I, you'd be surprised when you use it. There's your 
fuse panel. Very nice. Nice storage here. Nice storage up top, glass fronts. You got your microwave, your stove, of course all of that fun stuff. Nice big farm sink here with plenty of storage underneath. All right, let's move into the bathroom from the kitchen and this is a massive bathroom here. I, I love the fact that uh, not just Grand Design, but a lot of RV manufacturers are really understanding that the bathroom is one of the big things about an RV, especially if you use an RV for recreation. Uh, you can't see these yet because of lighting, but there's cubbies here for towels, uh, plenty of leg room, nice big shower. Uh, this looks like it's uh, the same size as our shower. I'm 6'1", 225. I don't have a problem at all in our shower. And uh, we'll get to that in just a second. The bedroom is awesome in this thing. And I'm just showing you the rest of the bathroom right quick. All right, like I just said, the bedroom, this is actually a bedroom slide. How cool is this? So how often do you get this on a travel trailer that is right at 30 feet? 30 feet, 11 inches, so 31 feet, we'll say. But uh, yeah, a bedroom slide on a 30 foot travel trailer. That's awesome, residential queen here. And then even better, Mom and Dad, it's going to be hard to beat that. Put your little TV up there. The kids are way up there. And you're sitting here watching a movie after they fall asleep. Now, you remember, you don't have hanging storage here, but remember, you got it up front. Right? You got hanging storage up front, so don't forget that. Nice two, two big storage areas here. Underwear, socks, shorts, pants, all of that fun stuff. And six drawers. So, I mean, you can imagine, you got three drawers and two cabinets and one cubby for each parent, if that's how you used it. Or you could just give those two over there to Dad. That's what would happen to me. Nice, huge back window. You got to love that. I do. And then there's a walk back in. I'll just give you a little walk through here. That's it, guys. Really cool, innovative floor plan from Grand Design and their Transcend line. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. If you got anyone shopping for a stick and tan, maybe this one's for them. See you guys.